one thing that strikes me is that uh, I think that uh, in the in the days before I think uh, the World uh, Trade Center or the Twin Towers uh, fell, uh, uh, I understand you had daily breakfast meetings with people. I think in the uh, uh, in the windows of the World, the famous restaurant, the That's World correct. Trade Center. That's but you weren't there for breakfast on the day. September 11th. Why was that? That morning, my wife had made an appointment for me at the dermatologist, who I have to visit with regularity. Right? And and as I'm dressing to go to the dermatologist that morning, I looked at him and I said, you know, I've got so much to do downtown. Cancel the dermatologist. I've got to go downtown. She got upset. She said, you can't. You can't cancel. You've got to go. Where's that uh, Larry Silverstein's luck? It was clearly my luck. This is all below grade of the new path terminal. That morning, my wife had made an appointment for me at the dermatologist, who I have to visit with regularity. Right? And, and as I'm dressing to go to the dermatologist that morning, I looked at him and I said, you know, I've got so much to do downtown. Cancel the dermatologist. I've got to go downtown. She got upset. She said, you can't, you can't cancel. You've got to go. Where's that uh, Larry Silverstein's luck? It was uh, clearly my luck. 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 I actually met one of Larry, Sil Larry Silverstein's personal uh, friend, yeah. a, a close friend, to, friend yeah. of him. Mm -hmm. and he was the owner of 9-11 and... Larry the, Silverstein was the, was the, the owner of the whole Rochester complex. <laughs> and six he weeks said, hold the building. Yeah, six started, weeks before 9-11, yeah. he put an insurance policy on the buildings, which he earned about $5 billion just, uh, just about in a lawsuit. That's real money. That's real money. Yeah. He, he admitted the building was pulled, controlled demolition. I remember getting a call from the uh, fire department commander telling me that they were not sure they were going to be able to contain the fire. And I said, you know, we've had such terrible loss of life. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. Uh, and they made that decision to pull. And then we watched the building. From here, we watched the building collapse. Please. Answer, 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 answer. And, and, and in, the, in the film, we actually talked to one of his close friends, one of his security personnel. He didn't want to go on record, so we put him as anonymous, uh -huh. who said Larry Silverstein was on his way to work on 9 11. He got a call. And he got a phone uh -huh. call telling him not to show up to work. He uh -huh. put it on speaker, uh -huh. telling him not to show up to work. Yeah. Then he called his daughter. Right. His so daughter right. worked in Building 7, called his daughter. His daughter, he told his daughter not to show up to Building 7. Right. And his daughter, him and his daughter both never showed up to work on 9-11. Yeah. And, and what's really funny about Larry Silverstein, he has breakfast in Windows of the Worlds every morning, on not, on, every day. Uh -huh. that, that's his he usual routine. Uh -huh. On 9-11, he never show, showed up there. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. and that's what we exposed. Well, and we have his personal friend saying that. It was clearly my luck. 